Today on the show, we're going to be talking about my top three favourite magic users from DC Comics. So I just want to start this off by saying that these are my top three favourite magic users in DC. They're not the best magic users because when I choose a top three, I look at how the characters are written and not necessarily their power set or how powerful they are. This is not the most powerful magic users in DC. This is my personal top three. So first off, we have the Enchantress. She is a woman that has the ability to say the Enchantress and she will turn into a black haired woman that has the most power over magic in the DC universe, or at least so she says. The thing is, June Moon, who she is as a person, is a really good person, which is why she acts as a hero a lot of the time. The Enchantress is a demonic entity, or at least it's hinted that it's a demonic entity. So she kind of struggles to balance between being good and being evil. If she uses too much magic at once, she will turn evil, which is kind of an interesting balance to see played out, as we do very, very frequently. She was a member of the first Suicide Squad in the sense that the first Suicide Squad to have their own title, not the first Suicide Squad to ever appear. Next up, we have Zatara, but not Zatanna Zatara and not Giovanni Zatara we have Zachary Zatara. Now, Zachary Zatara is Giovanni Zatara's nephew, meaning he is Zatanna's cousin. Basically, in the DC Universe, there was an event called Days of Vengeance, where the rules of magic were changed throughout the entire universe. And because of this, Zachary manifested magic that was similar to his cousin and his uncle. So now when he says things backwards, it causes things to happen. But he was already a master stage magician, so he just used these new abilities to aid him in his stage magic. He never intended to be a hero. It just kind of happened. But he's also a show-off. He knows he's good, and he expects you to know that he's good. He is incredibly narcissistic. His narcissism is only rivaled by Most Excellent Superbat, and I know most people don't know about Most Excellent Superbat. Now, Most Excellent Superbat, one time, saw a girl cosplaying as him, as the female version of him, and this turned him on so much that he just had to go and make out with this female version of him. Zachary, is more narcissistic than that. He was a member of the Teen Titans for a short period, but he would leave them because he really didn't get along with the team, and now he has kind of a strained relationship with them. And it's also worth saying that he was close with Kid Devil, but once again, he has a strange relationship with him because Kid Devil chose to stay with the Titans. Now, the reason I love this character isn't necessarily for his abilities, but for what he represents. He represents that just because you're related to someone does not mean you're cut from the same cloth. When it comes to Zatanna, everyone absolutely loves her. Everyone in the DC Universe adores her, they love working with her. When it comes to Zachary, people really don't like him, they kind of see him as a brat. So it just goes to show that just because you share a last name with someone doesn't mean you're going to have all their traits, which I think a lot of people forget when writing characters. Finally, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know who this character is going to be. Raven from the Titans. She, of course, was a founding member of the 1980s New Teen Titans team and has stayed with the team ever since then. I actually made a video a long time ago on this point that I'm about to say called On Raven Depression. The reason I love Raven so much is because she's actually an avatar for depression where she just simply can't feel emotion where she simply can't allow herself to feel emotion. Otherwise, she knows she's going to be hurt. In Raven's case, her father's going to find her and turn her evil and cause her to destroy the world and everything that she loves. But in reality, when you're depressed, your brain just sort of shuts off from feeling emotion because it knows that if you feel emotion, you are going to feel the pain of things that are in your life at the moment and it would rather you not feel that. Depression is such an important thing to talk about in our society, and for a comic book to do that, and for people to still not take comics seriously, is shocking to me. People need to sort of wake up and start paying attention to comics and stop seeing them as these things for kids because they do tackle real issues in this weird roundabout way. 
And that's why I love them. And that's why I love the character of Raven. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. Obviously, I do not choose my favourite characters because of their powers. It just happens to be a coincidence that these three characters are all magic users. But who are your favourite magic users in DC? Please let me know in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my blogging channel if you want to start your day with me every single day. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics and it is super effective.